This year, the crypto market saw many ups and downs. Many altcoins reached new all-time highs and their lowest values. Among them was XRP, that has been increased almost 300% this year alone, despite the looming lawsuit over its head. It is despite the legal battle that XRP and Ripple, the payment company behind XRP, has partnered up with the top financial institutions and banks. Many other countries are adopting Ripple to test the new CBDC system. The world is going to witness a financial crisis, and it will affect the U.S. dollar. Countries like Russia are getting rid of the dollar, and now through new systems, Russia is going to adopt Ripple's XRP. In today's video, you will know about Russia dropping the U.S. dollar and adopting XRP. You will know about the system through which this is going to happen and what will be its impact on XRP's value. But before we start our video, welcome back everyone to Crypto Millionaires, a channel where you get your daily dose of XRP. If you like the content, do give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so you can know every time we upload a new video. Now, let's get to the subject. Earlier this year, as Washington continues to slap sanctions on Moscow, Russia is removing the dollar from its 186 billion national wealth fund. The country has announced to move toward a digital euro, Chinese yuan, and gold assets. According to CNBC, the move was announced at the St. Petersburg International Economic Forum on Thursday by Finance Minister Anton Solunov. Like the central banks, we have decided to reduce investments of the NWF in dollar assets, he told reporters, according to Reuters translation, adding that the NWF will instead invest in euro, Chinese yuan, and gold assets. Timothy Ash, senior emerging market sovereign strategist at Blue Bay Asset Manager, described the decision to ditch U.S. dollar assets as very political and one that's meant to send a signal to President Joe Biden's administration ahead of the upcoming summit with President Vladimir Putin. The messaging is we don't need the U.S., we don't need to transact in dollars, and we are invaluable to more U.S. sanctions, he said in a research note following the announcement adding that it may be read as a hint that Moscow is bracing for more U.S. penalties. So, not only Russia, but China is also getting away from the U.S. dollar. The economist Stephen Roche told CNBC that the U.S. dollar could collapse by the end of 2021, and the economy can expect a more than 50% chance of a double-dip recession. Now, the seemingly crazed idea that the U.S. dollar will collapse against other major currencies in the post-pandemic global economy is not so crazy anymore. The reign of the U.S. dollar as the global reserve currency is about to be over now, and new and better systems are going to take over it. We have talked about XRP taking over the financial system many times. XRP has the potential to take over the U.S. dollar and be the global reserve currency. XRP is the most secure and sustainable cryptocurrency, and in the time where the digitalization is at its peak, the financial system is moving toward a complete digital monetary system. As the Russians said, they are going to invest in a yuan and euros, the currencies that are in the IMF SDR basket. This is all making sense now. Ditching the dollar and moving toward digital yuan and euros that are part of SDR. In this way, Russia is moving toward the adoption of the cryptocurrency, specifically XRP. We know that some cryptocurrency is definitely going to be a part of the SDRs, and given the relation between the IMF and Ripple, it is very much clear that Ripple's XRP is going to be that cryptocurrency. Kristalina Georgieva, the managing director of IMF, said, Thanks to Boris Johnson and G7 Idris for setting a forward-looking global agenda. Welcome the spirit of international cooperation to bring the pandemic to an end everywhere. Build better after the crisis and tackle climate change endorse unprecedented new SDR allocation. The SDR allocation is to bring the U.S. dollar down from the rain and let other currencies also come to the top, including U.K., China, Japan, and Europe. Ripple's XRP is also part of the SDRs, or the most likely candidate for it. According to the experts, Russia is the big catalyst for going into the new XRP-based system. In a video shared by a YouTube crypto analyst, it was proved that Russia is going to adopt Ripple and XRP. He talked about the D3 ledger, and according to the Soromitsu website, Soromitsu and the Central Securities Depositories of Slovenia, or KDD, and Russian National Settlement Repository of Moscow Exchange Group are collaborating on D3, the Decentralized Digital Depository. This is a token issuance and post-trade settlement infrastructure for financial institutions to use to provide custodian, asset creation, OTC trades, and settlement services to their users. Here you can see the Ethereum network nodes and the Ripple network nodes. 
Ripple is connected to the D3 Ledger space, and the institutions are going to utilize it along with the Swiss and the Russian financial market and fiat currency, and in the American financial market, it's the crypto market. The world is going to witness a complete power transfer, and now Ripple will also be a part of this. We know the impact of Russia and Ripple and XRP being adopted by it is a massive win situation for both Ripple and XRP. Russia is quitting the US dollar, and the next thing is a huge part of XRP. The new currencies are going to flow through it, and this is another confirmation that Ripple XRP is definitely going to replace the current traditional financial system of the world and be the new global financial system and the global reserve currency. Right now, one of the major factors that is halting the value of XRP is the legal action between the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission and the San Francisco-based payment company Ripple. But this lawsuit is also going to be the reason to lead XRP to the moon. Recently, Brad Garlinghouse, the CEO of Ripple, has been speaking out on the situation of the crypto market and regulations and dissatisfaction of the financial regulator's approach to Ethereum looks to have surfaced. As reported by the Cointelegraph, speaking at the DC Fintech Week virtual conference on Thursday, the Ripple boss declared that Ethereum had been granted a regulatory green light that enabled it to surpass his company's XRP token. The United States Securities and Exchange Commission, or SEC, has been pursuing Ripple over claims that Ripple XRP is an unregistered security. Garlinghouse plainly believes that his company has been treated unfairly and that Ethereum's subsequent success is owed, at least in part, to the SEC's more favorable approach. He said, Within the last few years, XRP was the second most valuable digital asset. As it became clear the SEC had given a hall pass to Ethereum, Ethereum obviously has kind of exploded, and that clearly has helped. Now the same lawsuit and the same SEC that brought Ripple and XRP down are going to take it to the next level. The cryptocurrency has already gained a massive world recognition because of the crypto trial of the century. And once it is over, XRP will become the most regulated currency and it is going to take over the crypto market. Right now, XRP prices formed a descending parallel channel pattern on the daily chart since October 9th, printing lower highs and lower lows, unable to escape the governing downtrend. According to the FX Street, Ripple is in danger of further declining as XRP price is edging closer toward the ascending support trend line that started forming on July 20th. But this is just the beginning. The value is not going to be the same forever. And with the increasing utilities and massive adoptions, XRP is going to skyrocket. And now, this Ripple and Russia relation is also a proof that XRP is definitely going to take over the financial system of the world. According to the coin market cap, at the time of writing, the XRP price today is $1.08 USD, with a 24-hour trading volume of $2.3 billion USD. XRP is down 0.69% in the last 24 hours. The current coin market cap ranking is number 7, with a live market cap of $51 billion USD. It has a circulating supply of 46.9 billion XRP coins and a max supply of 100 billion XRP coins. So guys, this is it for today's video. I hope it could be a big help to you. What do you think about the adoption of Ripple and XRP by Russia? Share your views in the comments down below. Don't forget to click the bell icon. And thanks for watching.